You're probably like, whoa, what the f ew! I love your big voluptuous body. Oh, hey, friend. Hey, friend. <laughs> hey, friend. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. And happy whatever day of the week it is that I decide to post this because I am pre filming like a boss. Wah, 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 wah. I'm pre filming. I'm pre filming. Hey, friends. Happy day. <laughs> it's so weird not to say what day it is because typically I film and edit and then upload. You guys will see that. I am doing a day in the life of a Monday. I don't know. I haven't really figured out the title yet, but. That video more than likely will go up before this one, so make sure you check it out. I'll leave it in the iCard, and if it hasn't gone up, then you're watching this one, and you'll see that one at another time. <laughs> I'm going to also, because that video will be live by the time you guys watch this, I'm going to go ahead and post um, Fathering Autism. Asa and Isaiah did a, like, a spoof on lifestyle vloggers. You guys, it's so funny. <laughs> It's so funny, so I'll leave that also in the iCard above. But today, I am here to bring you five, five, count them, one, two, three, four, five, really don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. Not really. Five tips on how to survive being a big old girl. <laughs> being a big girl. Where are my big girls? <laughs> Five things that I find important or that I do or that I purchase in order to live my best big girl, full hip, wide ass, huge thigh life, sis. Yes. Yes. So these are five things that I either purchase, that I do, that I wear, that I use, whatever, to make my life easier, being a big girl. Because yes, I am losing weight, but your girl's still big, and I still gotta survive out here in these streets, and summer's coming, and it gets hot. Here's my five tips. Number one, find leggings that work for you. I get comments constantly. Like, a good pair of leggings on a big girl is crucial. It's crucial. Because you get the wrong pair, and they're see-through, and you see all your bits, and you get sweaty and smelly and it's just not a great time it's not suggested I don't suggest so you need to find leggings that work for you and girls big girls especially this is a task it's a task for any woman but it's especially a task for a big woman so here's my suggestion to you never never ever 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 think that you can pick up a pair of cotton leggings and be safe because you can't i'm wearing cotton leggings right now yes they are cute but they are see-through as hell and if I were to bend over, it ain't good. So make sure that you are getting a thick, almost spandex-like, but breathable legging. Leggings. You want them to come up. You want them to suck you in. It's like Spanx and workout pants at the same time. And I don't know about you, but I don't work out in leggings. <laughs> I don't work out. <laughs> work out sometimes, but I don't really work out. But get you a good pair of leggings, girl. I get all of my leggings from Torrid. Like my actual like yoga pants legging situation. I get them all from Torrid. I will leave a couple of my favorite pairs linked down below so you can check them out. Obviously not sponsored because it's Torrid. But that's where I get every single pair of my exercise leggings that you guys are constantly asking me about. That's where I buy them and I will have them linked down below, my favorite pairs, because they are good, sis. I'm also thinking about doing a Poshmark situation because I have a ton of things to get rid of, leggings included. So let me know if you're interested in that down below. Number two. Number two. This is like super common sense, but I feel like it's something that needs to be said. Shower every day. Duh. A lot of you are probably like, oh, Lauren, duh. Like, who doesn't shower every day? You'd be surprised, sis. <laughs> be surprised. You need to shower every day. You need to shower every day. If you are a big girl, you need to shower every day. You need to shower every day. Do that. It's important. You need to... You know, wash everything, shower every day, and get you a soap that is good for your, you know, your pH, all the things. I'm not saying you have to go the Summer's Eve route, and I'm not gonna go there, but get you a good soap, nothing vanilla-y. I've mentioned that before in my Fat Girl Surviving Summer thing, which was like one of my very first videos I ever did, which I will leave that linked up above as well. Oh my gosh, I'm just linking things all over the place. Promise I'll link them this time, promise. You know why? Because I'm not gonna be rushed to put this video out and edit it in one day. That's why, seriously, you need to shower every day, <laughs> please, for us, shower every day. And I would avoid all cupcake-y, vanilla-y, cake frosting-ish, those scents on a woman with size that sweats or that has girth. They can smell good for like a little bit of time, but long term, not a good plan. They end up making you smell like a sweaty, salty cupcake and it ain't cute. So shower every day and avoid cupcake scents. That's number two. <clears throat> number three, learn 
how to contour. Learn how to contour. I catfish the world, y'all. You guys have seen my makeup videos, I know you know. I catfish the world. Find your face shape, because we all have so many. Some of us have more chin, some of us have less. Some have a big round head, like myself. Some have like oval shape. I think I'm more oval, but I'm not really sure. I got a bigger head in person, you guys. It's like real big. It's like bitmoji big. Big. But I know how to make my face look skinny by contouring. Contouring is super crucial. You can literally go into Google, Google. You can YouTube how to contour and face shape, and it'll, it'll help you. Duh. Hit the double chins. Hit the forehead if you got a large one like myself. That is a big girl's best friend. <laughs> Number four for surviving, for surviving, check my go. Number four for surviving big girlism, for you know what I mean, is um, uh, avoiding chub rub at all costs. I don't wear shorts, so I don't come across this very often unless I'm in the summertime. Um, and I'm like, I don't even wear shorts in the summertime, but like at the beach or at the pool or situation like that. I also mentioned that in my five fat girl hacks for summer. Um, you to avoid chub rub is rough. What I do personally is I use either the powder, um, gold bond spray and like shh, yeah, my thighs or I use coconut oil and slather that in my thighs. This is all real weird. If you're not a big girl, you're not a girl period. You're probably like, whoa, what the? Ew. But seriously, it's important. Chub rub's a real thing, even for skinny girls, even for any kind of girl. If you got thighs, you get chub rub. Dudes get chub rub in rub in situations. You know what I'm saying? So that powder, gold bond powder, I will leave that link down below as well. That's gold. Thank you so much, gold bond. Seriously, guys, it's really good. And it does the job. It keeps you dry, you know? That's important. Chub rub comes from, like, dampness and rubbing. Friction, wetness, rubbing, no good. It's not good. So that's a really good product I would have in your arsenal as a big girl. I really, really would. Also, coconut oil, just chin, 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 chin. Slather that on, and your thighs are like butter. I think, what else do I, oh, I, oh, in my, oh, I know how to, mm, in that summer video, if you haven't watched my summer fat girl hacks video, this is just a bonus hack to extend your pant size using a hair tie. Make sure you guys watch that video because it's super crucial. I've done that since I was like 16 years old. You can wear jeans for years with a gut and never, people will never know. You can extend your size up to probably like four pant sizes depending on how many hair ties you're willing to go. So make sure you check out that video because there's some gold tips in that one. Seriously, but my number five tip for being a big girl and surviving the big girl world is love yourself, sis. Love yourself. It took me years. It literally took me years, years to like accept my body. I don't accept my body in the body positivity movement as in like, oh, I love being morbidly obese. Ooh, give me that fatty heart. I want to die young. I'm not that kind of self-love girl. But like I'm loving myself in every stage of my body. I have carried and made a human. I've given birth. I've gained and lost and gained and lost and gained. Like love yourself. Love yourself. You need to love yourself in this world because y'all, if you don't, the world's a dark and sad, scary, sucky place sometimes. And if you don't love yourself, I'm not going to say nobody will love you, but it's hard for people to really, you know, get on board the big girl movement. You got to love yourself. Flaunt, flaunt that, shake that ass, sis. I don't know. You know, love yourself. Love every curve. Love every body movement. Love your body the way it is right now. My husband's walking by. <laughs> Do you love my big body? Find you a... Your big voluptuous body. <laughs> I, I love your big voluptuous body. Seriously, guys, love yourself through this journey. I know a lot of you, as well as I, are on a journey to weight loss, and we are trying to just be our best, very healthy selves. I wait it out. It is. Be kind to yourself. Love your body through it. I'm really, really trying to embrace all this jelly, and I encourage you to do the same while also striving to live your most healthy life. As John's back there heating up one of our Flex Pro meals, not sponsored, but it will be down below. Check it out. For you guys, I just wanted to give you a quick five tips to surviving being a big girl in this big world. <laughs> big girl in a big world. And I'm proud of you guys, and I'm proud to know you guys. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about, I will try and leave everything linked down below. Make sure you guys live your best life today. Okay. 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 How do you roll your R's? Can you do it? Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, How do you do it? Seriously. Tell them to do the roof of your mouth. 
Tongue in the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Live your best life, have your best day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, friend! John, say bye to our friends. Yep, bye, whatever. Yep, that's Bye, friends! Bye, friends! Seriously, guys, love you guys. Bye!